Alright everyone, I apologize for being away so long. I had um exams and stuff I had to do. But I can say I'm finally here now. How could I miss this? This is gonna be so cool. Uh we're gonna see how much uh and Kyla Mollick DNA we can get. It looks pretty chunky <laughs> compared to what Bumpy is. Uh I really don't think we'll have enough, but if I'm desperate, there is a bumpy incubator in the store, so I might, I might, I'm a bit tempted. Plus I've got tons of Stigimolic DNA. Uh, I think even if I were to buy what's in the store, I don't think I'd still have enough. I could try, to be honest. You know, I, I don't think uh, Kavakalis and Arctodus are available just yet. Or Kavakalis might be. I might be butchering that name, I don't know. But I have been keeping up today. I've been playing every day. I'm still playing Jurassic World, the game as well. I just completed the Carbon Nemes tournament and won that, so that was cool. Uh, but, oh, nice DNA out there. Um. I'm pretty sure Arctodus is meant to be an event, like a limited. I don't know why they would do that when <laughs> the Arctovacillus is going to be one of the hardest creatures to get in the game, right? And then let's lock it behind a one-week event only, right? So you're going to have to grind quite a while. And not to mention that is Christmas week. I think Arctovacillus is having its event, so <laughs> you know. <laughs> um. Yeah, you know, I'll go into the sanctuary. I've got a bunch of Alright, so what I'm hoping for is we don't get double tens, otherwise I'm gonna be very upset. Cause I just used quite a few FIPs and it would be wasted. Thank goodness we are unlocking and Kylo Molik right here, right now. And then we get 40 of course. Oh how nice is the game. <laughs> Here we go, I, I want to see the colours. Blue? Oh no. Interesting. And I completely turned Bumpy into Stitchy Molik. It's kind of lost the Bumpy aspects of it. They may as well have just fused it with an Ankylosaur to be honest, because uh, it hasn't got one spike shorter on the... Actually has it? Oh actually it, it does! Oh wow. Okay, never mind, they did keep the bumpy aspect. Yeah, one of the top Stigimolic horns is uneven. Oh, that's so cool. Props to that, okay. Never mind, I was just looking at it incorrectly. Very cool, we should try it out. Yep, that's what we're going to do. And then later, oh my god, we have to check out Arcto Vasilius. Vasilas, maybe. And also, oh, actually... Will be thank I'm so glad I did not get this thing to 30 when it was in its prime. Oh my god, because it's gonna really advantage me now. So and Kylo Molik, there is its uh picture. So that's it um it's pretty cool so far from what I've seen. But now I wanna check out moves and abilities it has. So got to swap into of course the bumpy swap in stunning all so what can we do we'll do this put up yes it does put up shield it's a pretty good move makes them resilient and puts up shield in an impact so not bad at all oh and immune to deceleration this bumpy hybrid isn't bad even though it's more of a si it's kind of an abomination if I'm gonna be honest because it looks like it's just meant to be a Stigimolic but then it just got put into an Ankylosaurus body. It's a bit weird. Oh we've swapped. Okay well that's actually good because we can now swap back into Bumpy to stun. Sorry the Ankylomolic. Oh, it's really cool how they made one horn bigger than the other on this hybrid. Just to keep the bumpy aspect, otherwise it wouldn't have made much sense I'm gonna add, because uh, yeah, 
Yeah, they may as well just made it uh, an Inkalosaurus if they weren't gonna add that uneven horn on it, basically. So that's really cool. Ah, uh, we'll do this, and then what? Velociraptor's coming out, I think, and then we'll do the instant stun and get the win. And uh, that'll be almost it, I think. I'm just gonna open up the incubator. Ah, uh, so. Done maybe. There you go. That's all of the bumpy moves. Should we swap out or stay in? I want to use the big move. Oh what? Completely invincible. No. This thing is more OP than it might appear. Interesting. Interesting. That's wow. Okay. Completely invincible to that attack. I could see that being strong, uh, but I can see Octovacillus being stronger, so I... Oh my god, that thing's gonna be such a grind, especially if Octodus is only gonna be available for Christmas week, when heaps of people are gonna be busy, but... I'll try my best to get as much Octodus DNA as I can, because thank god I am on holidays now, and just have time to do whatever I want. Anyway, back to Enkylomolic. Alright everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already, please it would help out a lot, I'm sorry I've been gone for so long, but I'm back now, and I'll try my best to keep up with making content, this thing is so insane, it's so weird looking and it's just cool, honestly, I love it a lot, and Kylo Molik, Stiggy Bumpy, I'm calling it Stiggy Bumpy because I... I don't know if Enkylomolic is a cute enough name. I mean, it makes sense, but I know. I, I think a name needs to be formed out of Bumpy and Stiggy. Stiggy. It's cool because those are the two herbivore companions out of the movie. Or the only two herbivores that get named, I think, properly. Um, but yeah, it's really cool. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you later. I'll have to uh, do a video on the campaign 2.0. So... Get ready for that. I'll see you soon. Bye, everyone.